In the race for Congress, one politician is playing the parent card. Yeah, he says voters need to elect someone with kids. And it's a story our partners at Civil Beat are following. And joining us over Skype is CivilBeat.com reporter Chad Blair. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, KITV. Interesting story, Chad. So who's playing the parent card? It is Charles DeJoux. He was just on your uh, video a few minutes ago. He says that because he has three school-aged children, that gives him a certain perspective into how government works. He's pointing out out that his opponent, Colleen Hanabusa, uh, does not have any kids, therefore perhaps he has an advantage. And Chad, you know, Jill and I know firsthand having kids makes any job you have more challenging and difficult, but does it really make someone better for public service? And what's been the reaction to what Charles DeJou is saying about this? Well, I can tell you that the reaction from Representative Hanabusa, a spokesperson, has called those comments sexist and demeaning. He says that doesn't in any way affect how Representative Hanabusa understands families and their needs. By the way, the spokesperson said, if you want to point out unique characteristics about the candidates, Colleen Hanabusa is the only one running for Congress born in Hawaii. So there you go. Hmm. <laughs> that is really interesting. All right, Chad. Well, you know, there's a lawsuit against the Department of Hawaiian Homelands over DNA testing and blood quantum. What does the plaintiff want? Well, as you know, you need to, to demonstrate that you have 50% plus Hawaiian blood in order to qualify for homesteads. And, and this person says that he, in fact, does have that blood quantum. He says his mother has 80% Hawaiian blood and that his father did, too. The problem is... His father is dead. He doesn't have the birth certificate, and so he can't verify through these documents to Hawaiian homelands that, in fact, he qualifies. So he is suing them because he wants them to accept a DNA test that he believes will, in fact, verify that he has more than 50 percent native, native Hawaiian blood. And sticking with the courts, Chad, there's a controversy over court records. What's the latest on that? Well, the Hawaii State Judiciary is considering sealing records that have been expunged. Uh, this concerns uh, cases, deferred cases, in which the defendant pleaded uh, guilty or no contest. Uh, imagine someone who's applying for a job, and, and the future employer looks online and finds out, you know, that this person had done something in the past for which they pled no contest or guilty. Why not give them a second chance? On the other hand, um, media groups, uh, newspapers, and attorneys for them say, in fact, this is not a good idea to seal those records. This is not a step towards transparency. These are public records. Let's keep them open. Yep, very uh, interesting debate with good points on both sides. All right, thanks, Chad. And unfortunately, we're having some audio difficulties <laughs> with Chad, but we get the gist of the stories. And you can find the complete stories that we just discussed in more details if you didn't hear it on civilbeat.com. It is 639. We'll be right back.